It is a Friday morning during my break from junior high. Mom's getting ready to go to work, cleaning toilets at the loony bin. Seriously. Meanwhile, my dad, who's out of work, sketches something with his art pencils in the kitchen table and pouting with superiority. Alfredo, I need you to go to the store today. Here is the grocery list. Carmen in the store will be your seeing eye clerk. Do not attempt to look for anything yourself. <laughs> this may seem a bit harsh, but my dad is a generic brand addict. <laughs> He's compulsively drawn to anything with a white and blue label. If us kids want Cheerios, he gets us toasted oats cereal. If my mom wanted a jar of Vaseline, he gets a gallon drum of petroleum jelly. <laughs> His favorite brand of beer? Beer! <laughs> but if money was really tight, he just drank rubbing alcohol. <laughs> I know. It's pretty smooth when it goes down. And you can drink, you can buy it after two o'clock in the morning. No prescription required. He never got as bad as Uncle Tony, who used to go to department stores and drink the perfumes. Uh, looking to get something for your wife? No, no, no. Just looking. Gracias. Psh. No. Psh. <laughs> Lemony. <laughs> I guess you can safely say that we have some alcoholic tendencies in our family. My mom hands dad $40. Alfredo, stop drawing those stupid cartoons and pay attention. But Rosa, this is my political protest. Don't be ridiculous, Alfredo. If you want to protest, why don't you go back? Those cartoons are the reason we're not in El Salvador anymore. Darío, take care of the house while your father and I are gone. So as my daddy's getting ready to go to the store, I go into the refrigerator and notice that there's no orange juice. Don't forget the OJ. It's on the list. <laughs> it's bad enough that my mom, who cleans toilets at the loony bin, is telling him what to do. Now I'm talking to him like he's some kind of delivery boy. Please? Father? Now somewhere between I Love Lucy and The Price is Right, which my sisters were translating... Dad arrives with the groceries and something more. Two twist-up jugs of gallo. Um, Father, where's the orange juice? They were all out. They had something called Sunkiss, a Minute Maid, and some shit called Tropicana. <laughs> but no orange juice. I doubt Mom put these on the list. Hey, they're from grapes, smarty pants. Don't they teach you anything in these schools? Well, how about a glass, Father? It was my first time I ever tasted alcohol. That first glass tasted like grape juice that had been strained through a gym sock. <laughs> that first glass burned my throat. But by the fourth glass, <laughs> my dad was starting to get worried. Not because I was on my way of blacking out, but because I was finishing his weekend supply. <laughs> I think you've had enough. But this grape juice changed things. I'll tell you when I had enough, Poppy. <laughs> bueno, bueno, bueno. What's this Poppy bullshit, huh? You will address me as father. Give me another glass, Poppy. <laughs> That's when the lights went out. <laughs> I don't know if I blacked out or if he blacked me out. When I finally came to... I stumbled from the, my bedroom to the kitchen, opened the refrigerator. Still, no orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing in my grandmother's front yard while my dad is hosing me down because I shit myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should probably back up a little. <laughs> I'm 14 and my life is going nowhere. So my cousin Raul decides to take me to the Saturday meeting of the Venice White Boys. Oh. A skinhead gang of wannabe white supremacists. <laughs> hey, these Aryans weren't stupid. Hanging around a pale Salvadorian with a rap sheet longer than his arm could only add to their street cred. My cousin was the decathlete of beer runs. 
He could steal a case of Mickey's, run out of the store, do the Fosbury flop over a moving truck tailgate, and be gone way before the store owner knew what hit him. This meeting was just a bunch of white boys running around in Ozzy Osbourne t-shirts, drinking lots of Mickey's. Slutty sluts with teased out 80s hairstyles slut back and forth. Of course, nobody wanted to pay attention to brown skin, black hair me, since I'm only tolerated because I'm Raul's cousin. But I do manage to make uh, friends with one icon of white trash culture. His name is Jack Daniels. <laughs> yep. There's not a lot of good things you can say about skinheads, but they sure do know how to drink. Jack and I got along from the minute someone slapped that fifth in my hand. The perfectly symmetrical corners. <laughs> Warm, almost as if it were alive. And then another bottle came around. Jack's northern cousin, Yukon Jack. <laughs> Imagine me and you, I do. <laughs> my first threesome in a while. <laughs> Watching all the slutty sluts slut by. God bless <laughs> America. <laughs> Wake up, you disgusting motherfucker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. God damn it, you stink. <laughs> Evidently, the skinheads weren't too happy that Raul's brown little cousin puked all over the waterbed. So, my grandmother's house was just a few blocks away. Raul props me up in the bike. All right, man, just keep pedaling and follow me. I managed to stay upright until a trash can got in front of me. Ugh! Then Raul puts me over his shoulders. Knock it the fuck off, Dario. Stop pedaling. God damn it, you stink. So he sandwiches me between the screen door and the front door of my grandmother's house. He figures someone would know what to do with me. So I'm standing in my grandmother's front yard while my dad is hosing me down because I shit myself. But he lets me keep my underwear on, you know, so I won't be embarrassed. <laughs> Bend over. Oh, I was going to get my ass kicked. But I knew I was going to drink again, so I had to start paying the price. You mind pulling your underwear down, too? Well, this is new. But I was in no condition to disobey my father. <laughs> then all I feel is this two cold, callous hands grab my butt cheeks. <laughs> father, what are you doing? I'm trying to see if these culero friends of yours... I thought it would be a good idea to have their way with you. <laughs> no one shits themselves like that. <laughs> well, at least it's not embarrassing me. <laughs>